one more step forward if you can. Trent, just as a Pullman native, someone that played here, uh, has been around the Pac-12 your whole life, what are your thoughts on what the conference has kind of become? <laughs> a lot, but nothing. I mean, nothing we can worry about. We got a Pac-12 season this year, and our focus is on winning the Pac-12 championship. And, and then after that, we'll see what happens. But to try to speculate and do all that would be pointless. What would it take for this defense to be as good as it is? Uh, you know, I, I think it's, it's younger guys stepping up. I think we got a good nucleus of guys that have played a lot, but there's some new guys in key positions. You know, the will linebacker position, the corner position that, that have the ability, as much as ability as last year, but it's, it's can they be as disciplined, be as confident, play as fast as they did last year. Speaking of the younger talent, Josiah's been playing pretty well over these last couple of days, got himself a pick. I think that's what you thought about his performance. And his improvement from year one to two. Yeah, I think he's improved a ton. Um, I think what's, what's exciting about this fall camp, if you're a player, is there's probably this is the most competition we've had in a long time for open positions. You know, there's no more Jaden Grants that have been four-year starters, no, you know, Omars that have been three, four-year starters. So there's a lot, I think that that can be a really good thing in camp where guys feel they have an opportunity to make a push to play, to have a play. To play. What do you feel like are the strengths of your cornerback? I think they're long. I, I think they can run. Um, I, I think those are two really good things that we, we kind of had for the last couple of years, kind of like Ray and Alex. They can move, they can run, and they're long which helps them, you know, if they're a step behind that length, you know, makes the quarterback have to put a little bit more air on the ball, which allows time for recovery. So those, those would probably do it too. How has the improvements kind of in the spring and the offense challenged your defense heading into fall camp? Oh, yeah, it's great. I mean, the, the quarterback position at, at all three, one, twos, threes, it's, it, they're going against a great quarterback. And, and just across the board, the O-line, um, the running backs, it's, it's – I, I have always said, I said it last year, I'll say it again, our toughest competition is every day in practice from a scheme standpoint and everything that our offense does, but to also a talent standpoint. What about your defensive line? I mean, again, over the last couple of days, they seem faster, they seem stronger. They've been getting, it seems like, everyday pressure into the backfield. Mm -hmm. And Isaac Hodgins even had a pick a couple of days ago mm -hmm. on the defensive yeah. line. What, what are you seeing from your front? I like where our front's at. I, I thought they had a great spring. They had a great summer. And then looking forward to them continuing to get better as fall camp goes along, especially there's a couple of young guys that are, that are probably going to help us. And, uh, Looking forward to seeing how they continue to go. Who are those young guys you're kind of talking about? You know, just um, off the top of my head, you get, you know, guys that were here in the spring, first off, you know, with Thomas Collins, Kelsey Howard, and, you know, just off the top of my head, those two guys come to mind because they were here in the spring and had a good spring and now have a real chance in fall camp to make a push. What is the process of working all the back into action? That's really, you know, we're, we're waiting for him to get cleared by the trainers. And once he does, then we'll, then we'll gradually build him in as, Based on what they say, there's still some appropriate. clearing to be done. On yeah. The With all the changes in the defensive back, group, what does it mean having someone like Katan back there instead? Yeah, that, that's huge because he, he adds a lot of experience playing, um, and just having him and Achilles. Achilles played a lot of football for us too, so having those two back, helping those new faces and young guys, I think is huge for us. For you, how is the challenge different than a year ago? Oh, I, I think it's a new challenge every year. I think. You know, the, the challenge is going to be, you know, how do we how do we tweak ourselves a little bit so, you know, we're a little we have some new wrinkles to what we had last year, right? People are going to watch us from last year, start trying to really focus on attacking us, and our offense is doing it now, which is great. So how can we add wrinkles to our coverages, to our fronts, to what we do to, to have some curveballs for those guys? What do you think you guys can still do to improve defensively? Yeah, obviously, you had a great season last year defensively. How do you, how do you improve upon that? I, I, think, I think we're looking – Really, it's kind of like a new slate. We're not concerned about last year or improving on last year. It's about it's about what how good can this defense be. Um, so not a comparison. It's really going to be can we hold the team we're playing to one one less point than we have. And if we can do that, then we're going to be happy. What have you seen from Easton over the course of the off season and in the spring? He didn't really do a lot in the spring, but what have you seen from him both from a year ago? He he's he's really been impressive so far like the first half of spring when he practiced and then to now i mean just night and day is physically he's, he's he's heavier he's moving better at that heavier weight and then just he, he's got so much energy and speed and he's smart he can make all the calls and communicate just when he's in you can really tell a difference when he's in right now three quarterbacks that can really sling it down the field i mean how much does that challenge your defense this it's season? great because you look at our conference this year and who we're going to play it, every game is going to be that way starting with the first one 
you know, so it, it's a great challenge for guys that can, can throw great deep balls and, and challenge us vertically because we need to keep the ball from being thrown over our head. So it's great to see it every day and work it every day. Knowing so how competitive uh, that aspect is and facing just the conference of quarterbacks really this yeah. season, do you feel like there's the downfield ball and the ability to throw is going to be what your defense has to kind of key in on every game? Or is there any other parts? Yeah, no, I, I think that, that same as it's, it's been since we got together is, is make the ball be thrown in front of us, make them put drives together, and we'll, we'll have a chance to take the ball away. We keep making them snap it again. So that's kind of always been our motto. Coach, the goal is obviously to win the Pac-12 champion. Obviously, I think the ultimate goal is to make the playoffs. But knowing that this is going to be the last season in the Pac-12, as we know, is there a little extra motivation to, to get the job done this season and to, to take home a Pac-12 championship for you guys? Uh, I don't think so. I think the motivation to win a championship is enough. I, I don't think whether it's the last year, first year, you know, whatever. Um, I think the, what we got in front of us is certain this season. Um, this conference and then and then that's our focus right now we can't do anything about anything else that happens so our focus is on what's going to happen right now for sure seems like in last year's squad game there was a little bit more vengeance in the team like players were coming back because they wanted to prove that they were better than just making it to the ball they wanted to win the ball yep. and after last season getting you know, 10 wins and a bowl victory do you feel a sense of confidence more so from the defense this ball camp than maybe last year yeah I, I think it's i think it's very similar you know 10 wins bowl win against a good sec team but but at the same time yeah let, let's take the next step they're not satisfied with where we were at last year they're not satisfied in winning 10 wins again we want to win 11 or 12 so that that's how their mindset is which is great